Hello, this is Watch All About, and uh, apologies for not posting a review for a little while. Uh, if you have a look at the website, watchallabout.com, you'll see the reason why. Basically, I've completely redeveloped the uh, website with my own two hands, so over the past months or so, that's taken up pretty much all of my time. So, uh, like I said before, sorry that it means that uh, I haven't been able to uh, post any reviews. But here we are, the website's done, and we're on a... Uh, a fresh new review. It's not a watch as such right uh, this moment. It is in fact uh, the Lepsi watch scope. So what this is basically is a tool for you to measure uh, how accurate uh, your mechanical watches are. So it comes in two pieces. Firstly the software which is an app either on your uh, Apple or Android device and then the actual watch scope itself which we'll have a look at in a moment. So this is how it comes in a nice little package like that. We'll have a look at that shortly. It also comes with a very nice uh, fabric bag that you can contain your watches in. And this is the absolutely brand new Christopher Ward uh, C1. So I'll be showing you how to, how to use that. So I'll just put that over there. So let's have a look at the watch scope. So a nice little sleeve surrounding this uh, wooden plaque uh, with uh, cutouts to contain the items within so we have obviously the the cable the watch scope itself and then we have a little envelope with some details within as well which is quite nice I'll just put that back in like so so this is a really nicely made and uh, everything is you know fits perfectly it's a uh, really nicely uh, uh, put together so I'll just move that back there as well okay so this is a watch scope itself uh, in complete layman terms it's basically a very um, sensitive speaker which listens to the ticking of your watch which then the app uh, reads listens to it and then it can determine uh, how uh, accurate your watch is so this is the cable which connects the two together it is basically a uh, very high quality uh, three and a half mil jack but it is really really high quality I mean I don't think I've felt one quite this thick before and the uh, the plugs are very well uh, put together as well uh, I forgot to mention the price first off so the the watch scope as a whole package is 369 Swiss franc that equates to around 295 great British pounds so yes it is about the same price as a you know a fairly decent watch <laughs> um, but as we'll go through a few things if you do have a quite a large collection of watches or you are like a proper geek for accuracy then you know it, it might be one of those kind of things where it's worth uh, the investment so as we continue on the cable um, every you know all the all the hardware is very luxurious very good quality um, so moving back onto the watch scope then uh, it's a very nice uh, brushed metal kind of finish to it. I mean, I'll put it under the macro lens in a couple of moments. So that's just the hole where you put the cable in. This is the top where you obviously sit your watch on top. And this is like a nice little, it's not carbon fibre, but it's a carbon fibre style padding. So that's very nice and soft. Uh, so it won't damage your watches at all. And then the, these details on top are sort of like etched, laser etched in uh, and painted to fill as well. So let me just get the macro lens on and we'll have a very brief look at those little elements. So this is the top, as you can see, we have a nice little uh, pattern. Um, it's sort of like a tape, but it's not really. It's quite hard to explain what exactly it is. And there's a little tiny hole in there. And that's obviously the main bit that uh, listens to the watch. So that's the plug for the three and a half mil jack cable. You can see here like the brushed finishing and this uh, chamfered edging as well, all very nicely uh, machined. So, I mean, you are getting a good quality uh, uh, piece of equipment here. So 
there's the name watch scope sort of etched on top of a Swiss. I forgot to mention as well, this isn't Chinese made, it is actually Swiss made, which obviously will always put the price up. Um, uh, so that's another factor behind the, the high price. Let's just have a look at the cable now quickly. So this is one of the jack ends, four connectors. So very heavy duty. Here's the cable itself, braided. Uh, it feels very sturdy and um, reliable in the hand. They both have the little Lepsi logo printed on top as well. Okay, so that's the hardware. Let's plug it in and um, have a look at how it works. So we just literally plug this into the headphone socket. Plug this end in here. Sit it on top of our watch movement and then we start listening. So it takes 18 seconds to stabilize. It's not got a very good uh, view of the iPad, it's very it's too reflective really. But as you can see, we start getting our reading and we start getting a graph here as well. So we can see here, obviously this is the brand new Christopher Ward, so it is within COSC certification. So that's cool. You can stop that there. So I won't keep it on forever. But what you can do is you can have a collection of watches. Obviously, I've got just a, a few in here for now. So there's my Christopher Ward C1. So I've taken three recordings on it already. Um, that first one was just the, this recent one, which I can remove. As you can see, the, the other two ones that I've taken just earlier today are pretty incredibly accurate, really. Um, so that's a pretty good save for, the, for that watch. You can take a photo on each watch. Um, it then tells you uh, your frequency of the movement, and then you can switch between a graph or our list of results. So if I collect, go to collection and then have a look at another one, the Helm Vanuato, I've taken one reading on that. That gives, tells me what it was like. You can add a note on it as well. Um, and then when you're on a watch, you can just click this button, tap this button up here to take a direct um, reading on that just by hitting the play button. But it also tells you your history here, which is nice. If you don't want a measurement going into a, a watch, you just do quick measure, just hit play and it will do just like an off the bat one off uh, reading. So then you can also get measurement reports. So this is for the Helm Vanuata. If I was to go to collection, select my Christopher Ward, I could then, that's now selected and then I could get measurement reports for that watch. It tells me the last measurement, gives me a graph and then my history as well. Amplitude, beat error, and my rate variation, the dates. And you can email that as well. So, uh, oh, so you can print it if you've got a print uh, printer that works off uh, Wi Fi. And then you can send it as an email as well. So just send, put your name and your email in there, and it will send it through. Um, so, I mean, that's the, that's the basic um, aspects of it. We've also got a magnetism detector so first of all you need to configure figure where your um, magnetic um, uh, like each device has a has a for the compass it has a magnet built into it so you have to just um, move a magnet over your device a very light lightly powered magnet and then you can sense where it is and then you tap uh, where it is 
once you find the sensor position and then you know to hover your watch over uh, the uh, the position and it will tell you how magnetized your watch is which is quite a cool cool little feature because you can get little bits uh, little things you, little tools you can buy to demagnetize your watch so then obviously if you've got a watch that's wildly out of um, uh, you know like really inaccurate you can try demagnetizing it see if that will help uh, so we have some features so you can change the color scheme black gray you can have white as well if you want um, you can have a, a full collection report as well so you can email everything as you can see here so this will send an email out with all of my collection Uh, you can have a cloud backup as well, which is nice. Um, so there you go. Have a little help section as well if you want. But that's pretty much covering the uh, the basics of it. Um, I mean, for someone like me, it's going to prove to be quite a valuable asset because I'm going to start using this on all of my watch reviews. So every watch that I, every mechanical watch that I review in the future. I will be able to say, hey, this is how accurate the movement is uh, from the, the watch that gets sent over to me. So uh, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. Obviously, for those of you who have a large collection of watches as well, this is probably going to be pretty valuable for you. Uh, for those who are really, really geeky and love to like do, do little bits uh, on your watch as well, like uh, adjust the movements, obviously this will be very handy uh, for you as well. So I think it has a, a lot of... Um, capability to be a very very handy tool for for many of us obviously just shy of 300 pounds it is fairly expensive uh, but for those of us who want to take the um, you know want to want to basically go for it uh, it is you know you can be assured that it is a very well thought out well designed app and uh, hardware configuration works together i mean the app itself obviously you've got to take into account the um uh, the, the amount of time and money that it would have taken to develop it as well, which I guess they're getting money back with the, the price of uh, the purchase of the, the the watch scope itself. Okay, so um, let me just show you the... I'll just turn that off now. Let me just show you it once more. So this was the... I'll just turn that over. You can see the curtains in the background. <laughs> So just one final overview of all the hardware. So there we go. Put that back in there. You fold it back up. Okay. So if you're willing to spend the money, uh, it is a it is an excellent tool that I personally will be using a lot, and I personally think it's uh, it's a very good, um, very good piece of equipment for the avid watch collector. So uh, I do recommend it. Obviously, it is a sort, of, it is a bit of investment at the price, uh, but if you were to go for it, you won't be disappointed. So this was the Lepsi watch scope, and that's what you're all about. <laughs>